beautiful Micronesians, welcome to another episode of the Micronesian News Broadcast. Today is January 17, 2019, Thursday, and I am your host, Alana Claire Pleasures. Let's get into it. Vice President Yosua George, along with other FSM officials, met with the Executive Administrator of the Trust Fund for the People of the FSM. The meeting was meant for discussion on the current state of the Trust Fund. For those who don't know, the Trust Fund is the money fund which will keep the FSM afloat when compact funding will stop in 2023. Fiscal year 2018 saw the trust fund increase by $71,115,714. Since 2005, the trust fund has seen a performance return of 5.7%. Current projections predict that we'll reach over $1 billion by 2023. By that time, there must be a distribution policy that will sustain its growth and still be able to ensure delivery of government services. There is awareness that the trust fund won't be enough to sustain the country. The upcoming years will be very important. So far, the Evesom government is saying, and I quote, The Evesom government is dedicated to a multi-pronged approach to ensuring the future financial sovereignty of our nation. From increased transparency in tuna fishing to transitioning Evesom Petrocor's mandate to become a renewable energy company. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Over in England, 10 scholars from the University of Guam participated and shared Micronesian and Chamorro history at the Pacific History Association Conference in London and Cambridge. Along with President Robert Underwood, Acting Associate Dean Charlene Santos Bamba, and Assistant Professor of Political Science Mary Cruz, they were able to present papers and lead discussions on our history. Also present were Chuki scholars L.J. Rayfab and Majeline Kim. They showed that scholars from the island are putting in work. Expanding professional and higher education networks, said Santos Bamba. Great job! Our people have a voice. Pacific Voices for Pacific Matters. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Now here are the announcements. Matson Navigation Company lowered its fuel surcharge by 7 points for its Guam, Hawaii, CNMI, and Micronesia services. For Micronesia, it went from 44 to 37. This is due to a recent reduction in fuel prices. Two weeks ago, Oyalang No. 6 hit the reef at Taka Atoll. Even though they weren't supposed to be there, all 24 crew members are safe. However, the ship is still stranded. RMI EPA believe that services with serious damage to the coral reef has happened. But luckily, there is no leakage. Representatives of the Oyalang No. 6 are working with the RMI government to transfer remaining fuel off the vessel. You are interested in Pacific literature, specifically Micronesian literature, visit UH Manoa online and check for the link in the description. And over on Guam, the FSM Association has finally agreed to help Tanya Kopachar with her situation, which has been highly popularized by the media. They are also looking into Elton Masasi's case as well. Now, here's Norman this with is Norman, the weather. And I'm giving you the weather for tomorrow. 28 degrees Celsius high during the day and 25 degrees Celsius low during the night. Cloudy and 10% chance of precipitation and 78% of humidity. Sunrise will be at 6.44 a.m. and sunset will be at 6.30 p.m. Northeast winds 10 to fi wait, 15 to 25 knots and seas will be at 7 to 10 feet high. Thanks for tuning in to the Micronesian News Broadcast. Tune in every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for more updates. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And wait, before you go, check out the Blue Review.